You know, successful fishing in the marshes of South Louisiana this year has been a matter of finding pretty water. Water's been dirty everywhere, but if you find the good stuff, in general, you can find some fish. I just came into a bayou that looks perfect. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite baits, but I really haven't thrown it in a minute. That's an SB57 and lavender shad. It looks pretty grassy in here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fish this bait or not. And based on that cast, probably not. It's not grass. I am seeing some widgeon grass here, here and there, and that's definitely more favorable to this bait. We'll see how bad the snot grass is. This is widgeon grass. Not the easiest grass to fish around, but fish love it, and it's way easier to fish around than snot grass. Snot grass technically is not grass, it's algae. Snot grass either grows in really clean water or makes really clean water, because when you see it, generally the water is good, so I don't mind it, even though it is a little challenging to fish around. All right, just too grassy for this SB57. You have to go with a Texas rig. There's a bait I've really been doing well with lately, a Zimmer Swimmer, June bug color. We've got a rising tide right now, less than ideal for fishing this marsh. Should switch pretty soon, but right now it is rising. As you can probably tell, it's super breezy this morning. Really blowing hard. It's been blowing every day this, this spring. Definitely the windiest season in South Louisiana is the spring. This one just seems especially windy. All right, something bit the tail off my Zimmer Swimmer. Kind of switch that out. There's a fish. Oh, nice bass. All right. <laughs> I gave him forever on that bait. It's the third hit I've gotten. I got a really good hit and broke off. Said some really bad words. Oh, there's a fish. God damn it. And this dude's barely hooked, look at that. And had another hit that ate my tail. We're gonna let this dude go. This Zimmer Swimmer, man, I just really, really like this bait. Haven't been fishing with it all that long, but it's just a great marsh bait. I've caught a bunch of trout on it, caught reds on it, obviously bass on it. Oh, by the way, I looked up this color. It's actually candy bug. It's kind of a lighter June bug. That fish that broke me off on the hook set, I'm almost positive was a red, just by the way he hit. The other two bites, well, obviously one was a bass. I think the other one was a bass as well. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, goodness. He erupted. That's a good bass. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Love these guys. Bass fishing has been tough in South Louisiana in these marshes the past few weeks. Man, he barely got the hook as well. It's nice to run across a couple. See you, buddy. This is the packaging for the Zimmer Swimmer. See, it's a rib bait with a hard curl on the tail. Both aspects of it, I really feel like make it super productive. Both the bass I landed, I hardly even knew I got a bite. That one, I saw my line moving. Didn't feel the fish hit at all. But when I set the hook, he went nuts. There he is. Oh, he came off. Another one did not feel him hit, just my line was running. I don't think these fish are feeding all that aggressively. They're definitely not doinking the bait and they don't have it deep. The two I landed didn't have it deep, but I think they're seeing this Zimmer Swimmer and they just kind of can't resist. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a big bass. That's a big bass. That's a big marsh bass. We'll see if we land him. 
Got to do the fun part. Whoo, that's a good fish, man. Now he's got a face full of grass. Get out that grass, boy. All right. Oh, he's got a sore on his side. A little bit of grass in this bayou? That's all widgeon grass. And look, he's barely hooked as well. Man, is he barely hooked. We're lucky to get him. There we go. He's got a sore on his side. At least something tried to eat him. That's a chunky marsh bass. It's a good fish. See you, dude. I saw my bait go flying. Definitely need a new one. Kind of taking my time, slowly working my way through this bayou. Spending a lot of time on spot lock. Because the tide and the wind are moving in the same direction, generally. But I want to just blaze through here. This water is really, really beautiful. And there's not a lot of pretty water around. Kind of got to take advantage of it when you find it. Ooh, look at that gar. That's a giant. <laughs> Why couldn't that have been a big bull redfish? Beautiful little cut right here. Should be some fish in it. Other than gar. Ooh, there he is. And look at that big speckled trout. Big trout. Big trout. <laughs> right where that gar was. And I tell you what, I saw another fish flash right next to it. I told you trout also like the Zimmer swimmer. Oh man, he's foul hooked. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this fish. I generally would not, but hooked him right in the belly, through the gills. I tell you what's crazy. I set the hook on that fish and he took off and another fish came right up next to him, tried to hit the bait. There was at least a couple of trout in that little cut. Just love springtime. You just don't know what you're going to catch. Wouldn't be outside the realm of possibilities to catch a flounder. And believe me, that would make my day. And that trout hit very different than the bass had been hitting. He pounded it. Ooh, there's another one. I think it's another trout. It is. Yes, it is another trout. All right. Were you the one that flashed at my bait? Oh, he's barely hooked. Look at this, dude. It's your unlucky day. I'll tell you what, it's barely in there, but I can't get it out. There we go. It's such a small cut. It would be unusual for a bunch of fish to be stacked up there, at least a bunch of trout. But believe me, I'm gonna make a few more casts. <laughs> Oh, missed him. Dang it. That was a bass hit. That was not a trout hit. Very different than those two trout hits. There's our gar friend. All right, just check the radar. There's some rain about 15 or 20 minutes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a day, head on back to the marina, but man, what a successful trip. Hot bait, of course. The Zimmer Swimmer. If you haven't fished with this thing yet, you definitely want to add it to your arsenal, no question about it. Doesn't produce fish in every situation, no bait does, but the amount of water this bait moves makes it really, really unique. In my experience, fish absolutely love it. Perfect for a Texas rig in a high grass area, which we're in today. That's why this water is so pretty. So important this year to find pretty water. I mean, it's important in general, but everything's been dirty this year. So nice to find some really, really beautiful water. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. If you wouldn't mind, share the video with somebody you think would also enjoy it. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Now we gotta go before we get wet.